hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to start fetching all of our categories like whatever we have inserted in our dashboard done so now guys let's create a simple slug over here with the name collections so we will create a route with this and all the categories will fetch by showing in a card view okay so let's move below to the code and now guys let's go to this navbar i mean this home and all categories let's go to that navbar and here i see one class guys let's remove that because of this we are getting this extra space in this navbar and the slider part okay because of this we are getting one extra space so guys now let's move to the navbar we go and this is the top navbar so we don't need to mingle with top navbar just ignore that and here is our bottom navbar that is main navbar yep and now guys let's scroll and you find that home all categories new arrivals okay so you need to create a route for this url where home means it will be a direct home page that is slash url and for the all categories or categories we are going to the url called collections so let's copy that collection url and paste here and if you get on the new arrivals so you have to paste with the new arrivals like url hyphen what new arrivals wells okay so this will be a new arrivals like latest of new products will be doing that so now let's ignore this and get back to the main part where first step we will move to the routes web.php and create a route guys so this is my route here let's create a route colon colon get method with the route name forward slash collections and then your controller so now guys let's uh, copy and paste the front end controller exact controller i need let's copy and paste here so this is my controller and now on this collection i want to get all the categories so let's tell categories and now let's move to this front end controller and create a function the function name is paste here and now guys we don't require any type or request let's remove that and let's return view the blade front end folder dot collections then your category folder and inside that index blade file which is main file so now guys let's get back and create a folder like i think i have already created one collections folder let's go to resource views front end and is your, here is your collections folder okay and now inside this collection let's create one folder with the name category category done and inside this category folder and create a new file with the index dot blade dot php all set so inside my category folder i have a index blade dot php file and now guys let's extend the layouts so you can copy from your main front end page let's copy and paste and let's end the section copy and paste here's the end section and this will be your all categories your title so now guys let's design the category view so before designing the category view let me just show you the output like category page let's save and let's see the output so we are on the category page perfect so now guys let's design the card view for our category display so guys i have written a simple post over here e-commerce category design where this is a preview and the source code is over here let's copy from here till end okay let's right click copy and paste just remove this paste it all set now we require the css so here is our css guys let's copy this 
and paste in the custom.css file. So you can find that in the app layouts. Let's go to the custom.css. Okay, so where it will be in the public folder, we have assets, CSS, and custom.css. Cool. And now let me bring it to top. Why to get confused in center? So we can paste here category start and end. Let's close this custom.css file. And this is our category index page or categories. Okay. And now let's see the output, guys. So refresh. So, guys, now let's display our data from our database. Okay. So let's get back and here is the column md6 and this is the remaining six columns let's just control x and delete that that's it so now go to a front end controller add the categories write dollar categories is equal to your category colon colon where condition where you get the data and you need to check the status of it status as zero and then you write a compact function as categories you are sending this variable using compact function and now guys you take this variable to this blade and loop that let's use for each loop or else you can use a for else also let's just control z and type for else here we go so we paste that categories of category item let's tell okay and let's control x and paste below all set and here just create a column md12 and just add on h5 tag no categories available okay and now take this and and check the laptop name so what is that category item of name okay so let me confirm that from the database categories table here and name description image slug everything is available okay so right now we require only the name and we require the slug over here let's type the slug so url where you'll be telling forward slash the collections url let's copy that forward slash and then your variable category item of slug okay all set and now guys coming to the image part to display the image okay so here you set the asset function or a method to show the image so for that guys uh, you are going to copy the same code just add a dot concatenate and tell it's an image okay so guys uh, let's check whether the path we have saved or not okay so here is only the image name not the path name we have not stored the correct path only the image name we have stored so what we can do guys we will update this to store its path also so just add a simple code let's remove this and instead we will update the correct path so we don't have to give the path from here instead we will directly update the correct path so for that guys let's go and update the category controller go to category controller and move to your store function and here is the image okay so this is the path guys where we are uploading all the categories image and storing the image name here so what we can do we can just concatenate it over here or else you can tell like let me create a upload path is equal to inside single quotes just paste this that's it and now you call this variable let's paste here and it will store with the path name so now guys let us directly update this path 
get back to the database and now we will update this here update it and update here also so now you can see that upload category and the image name okay so make sure you are updating if you are changing the database you have to update this path and go to the update function also at the update function we have that upload path let's copy this upload path variable and paste here just use dot and then set save it that's it guys now let's close this category controller not to worry and back to our category code save it and now guys let's view the output so refresh once cool so we can see that guys mobile laptop and men's category has been displayed and now let's click on this first category that is mobile and your url should look something like this your collection and then your category name okay this is not the name instead it's a slug okay so make sure you are viewing the correct slug so guys in this video that's it and let's see next video about how to display all the products of its category and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share